Hi, this is part two, CD150 Philips, um, not reading discs. Right, well I've got the, um, the drive out, very easy, just one screw, looks like that at the back, and uh, you can manipulate the, this part out of it. Um, I checked, when I had taken this off, I checked it again, and there is a laser there, but this is not moving so the laser shining it's sticking in that position so that would say that it's not not this is not moving at all the servo is it it's not moving at all so there's a problem with the servo so that could be um possibly to do with this board but i don't think it is i think it's to do with the control board of this thing here i found the belt to this which is uh there, that's why the tray's not coming out properly. It needs a new belt, it looks very slack. And this is what we find underneath there. It's just a very, very poor version of a CDM1. Very poor, very plasticky, pretty horrible. I'm not surprised these fail all the time. But anyway, it's Philips, so it can't be that bad. It's just built down in price. So this is the board that was mounted here, mounted on here. So I've taken this off to have a look at it. There's no um, obvious dry joints on the back here, but I was just checking with my uh, fantastic LCR meter here, the value of some of these electrolytic caps, because obviously these are quite old now. This one here, it doesn't look original, but it's not measuring very well at all. Um, see, I think, let's have a look. Um, yeah, it's between here and here. So look, it's measuring at um, 1,353 nanofarads. But look at the ASR, 14.4 ohms. That's not right. That's very high, I would say. And here's another one here. Uh, and this doesn't look original either. Maybe they've been replaced before by someone else. So let's just uh, attach here. Oh, if I can. One-handed. No. I can't, so let's uh, attach the, the uh, black wire there and touch on this one. This is 9.42 microfarads. I think that's probably near enough for the value, but ESR 5.13, mm, I don't know. I would probably be inclined to replace that one as well. I haven't tested these two here, but I'm going to. Um, these other ones here, these blue ones, obviously very, very old now. This one is a, well, in circuit, this is a 33 mic, or 0.3 mic. There we go. And it's measuring 17.6 with an ESR of 5.46. Well, I haven't taken that out of circuit yet, but this is supposed to test in circuit. Let me just check the frequency here. If I put the frequency to 100 hertz. Yeah, 21 microfarads, 11.8 ESR. 20, yeah, one, one K is about right for this size of capacitor. So it's measuring at 17.68, so it's well out. Um, I checked this one and this one as well, and these two, they're all out of spec. I would really say uh, that these were all need to be replaced, and I reckon it will work then, but I'll let you know what happens. These oscilloscopes that I've got here, I'm working on at the moment, they're definitely capacitors that are causing the problem, so I'll bring you another video on that when I fix them. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this has been useful to someone trying to repair one of these